All you want is some storage on top of the roof now. <laughs> well, <laughs> Look at this. Is. Put these roof rails on. Yeah, that's almost awesome. yeah, brilliant. Isn't it? I had the tire, spare tire in there. Uh, I gave the. Uh, it's got the FE to my roof. I stuck on this, I didn't forget. <laughs> it's just, oh, wow. Well, um, <laughs> right, wait under there. Probably They've deep coated deep. it in something that's going to be rust resistant. Uh, uh, just for the wind turbine. Oh, you that's pretty I'll keep getting off there. Oh dear, no, mate. Two sips. Okay, couldn't get it. Water out Put your back in. Fingers. You didn't give him an half empty one, mate. <laughs> Something. <laughs> Stealth Ninja. Right. Catch up with you guys later. We're going down the stores. You're going down the stores, yeah? Yeah, that's it. We're going to actually make this here. Improvised. We made this little shelf. Right, yet again here we are, slumming it in the field. It's all pressure and you die. Cheers people. Welcome to breakfast at the bushcraft show. I just want to share these um, boots with you. They're not, uh, it's not exactly a review. These boots are called uh, High Tech Para. And uh, I thought the way the kind of weather was that we might end up, um, you know, with quite a lot of mud. And uh, over by the um, main arena, the areas where you've had the greatest footfall, uh, the mud's about a uh, foot deep. You know, a lot of day visitors were uh, having to be towed out of the car park 
uh, yesterday and um, there was a truck with a big uh, TV screen on the back of it that uh, had to be um, pretty much left where it was all night because it was stuck in the mud up to its axles and uh, a massive kind of recovery winch truck turned up this morning and dragged it out. But I bought these boots with me. Um, I normally wear the uh, Soldier 95 leather outer Gore-Tex boots. Um, but I bought these boots with me because I thought there might be quite a lot of mud. These are high-tech paras. They come in uh, green, yellow, red and black. Um, they weren't cheap, they were about £70, but very simply they are uh, Wellington. So it's a completely kind of rubber boot on the outside and it's got a neoprene inner, so kind of wetsuit material on the inside and they're slip-on. So in a kind of, um, um, you know, heavily muddied area, uh, they are absolutely brilliant. I popped these on um, last night to walk over to the beer tent where we uh, kind of met a few people and socialised uh, and it was exactly the right thing to do. The other thing is as soon as I got back to my little tent, of course because they're slip on there's no fuss, I just literally kind of slipped them off and uh, got into my uh, tent. But I'm just going to give them a little sort of bit of a brush over this morning. Won't get a better uh, in the field scour and a bit of grass. And that's great to get uh, most of the mud off, which is all that's required. Okay, ready to go and get muddy again. Some folks are enjoying the mud. So uh, let's just have a wander around some of the trade stands. Um, you know, the normal normal suspects are here. Uh, Perry McGee's here, Chris Crane's here, you know, sort of canoes, axe throwing, uh, Ben Orford's here, all of the kind of outdoor survival schools, you know, all the usual suspects really. But um, some, of the, some of the stands are quite interesting. You kind of find yourself uh, looking for a bargain, but really, you know, because these guys have got to pay for their trade stands, there aren't really a lot of uh, bargains here. But you will come across some unusual items, and I like to have, you know, a few quid in my pocket, so that if I do see anything out of the norm, you know, I can uh, acquire it and sort of not miss the boat, really. Um, there's some MOD um, army surplus people here, you know, and uh, people, are still, people are still enjoying themselves, uh, uh, despite the weather, but um, really, usual suspects, you know, all the trade stands are a kind of normal run of the mill, and I'm sure you'll see them all on the uh, official website. So this little obstacle course seems like, uh, you know, good fun for the kids. It's uh, super safe, and uh, getting everyone out of the mud, everyone's having a lovely little time.
Looking for those carcasses, she's not actually capable of breaking into the carcass, her carcass where nobody else could reach. And you tend to find the birds that are successful in the wild, the ones that have uh, adapted to be brilliant birds of prey and brilliant animals, tend to line so this is just a little bit more of a close up of some of the kind of uh, usual suspects, trade stands, people that are about, and all the sort of stuff that you can buy at the shop. So over this side of the campground, as you can see, you know, we've got this lush grass, no one's getting bogged down or anything like that. Uh, this is where uh, Funky Prepper, myself, uh, Pete Mind Wiseman, aka Maverick Outdoors, uh, Lone Wolf's over here, so maybe this is where the smart money is. There are two other gates, uh, access gates to the property, to the field. There's one just here, and one over in the far corner. I'm hoping that they have the good sense to get those gates open. Um, on Monday maybe so that uh, people can uh, get themselves out uh, instead of forcing people to drive through the mud where the uh, trucks have uh, just got bogged down uh, and you know hundreds of people end up having to uh, get towed out you know if they open these other gates up you'll have um, people leaving the campsite without any problems at all so Fingers crossed that they have the good sense to open the uh, Tonight's uh, dinner, got a bit of beef on the go, just browning that off before it goes in the uh, pot belly stove. A couple of tins of soup and some uh, uh, small potatoes. And a bag of vegetables, so we've got peppers, red onions, uh, other oxo cube bits and pieces there. A couple of uh, good friends over for a pint of beer before we uh, get stuck into this. Thank All of much. this is going to go in the potbelly stove. We're going to put it on the uh, burner that we're going to light, and a uh, couple of hours that's going to be dinner. Back soon. Okay, so there's the Dutch oven. A little bit of oil in there. Browned off this bit of meat, so beef goes in the uh, pot. Really simple stew, so just a uh, big soup. A couple of those. I'm going to open a tin of uh, potatoes. Uh, assorted peppers. Nice red onion, oxo cube, bit of seasoning. That is dinner. So uh, this is the secret ingredient people. This is just an, uh, an oxo cube. There you go, what could be simpler? Baby new potatoes, uh, gonna leave them as is, they're kind of uh, right sort of size really. And obviously there's a bit of uh, fluid or juice that's just gonna uh, reduce down. Chop the red onion, cut the peppers, we're sorted. That's just good sense. Yeah. Pop over a bit later. Come and see us in the Camp Desert. So in a roach, come over and see us in Camp Desert a bit later. Mate. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so just wandered off for a little wood patrol, got a couple of mail sacks, a bit of cord just like the postman takes, nice big sack of wood, all I took was my tomahawk, 
This is us sorted for dinner. Wow, morning everybody. Well, this is the last day of the Bushcraft show. This is uh, Bank Holiday Monday. And uh, I think we'll have a bit of a late start. And uh, getting packed up should be pretty straightforward with the new uh, kind of rooftop tent. So it's just a matter of uh, uh, breaking the kitchen down, sliding it in here, and uh, shutting the top down. A couple of bits in the trailer. We would be. Uh, Really fully off, but um, it's been a brilliant show. It's been great to sort of hang out again with uh, Funky Prepper, Pete, Mime Wiseman, and uh, Lone Wolf's been excellent company. Uh, lots of other people have sort of come up and you know said hello and been um, you know very kind and charitable. Uh, you know, hello Roach, kind of love the channel, yada yada yada, which. Uh, I always find quite uh, humbling. Um, the, the show's had uh, all the usual suspects at it. Uh, the weather has been um, pretty difficult on occasions. You know, there was a lot of mud and quite a lot of rain. Some of the people in the woods have been flooded out, uh, and uh, vehicles getting stuck you know, fairly, uh, fairly often. Um, but uh, yeah, a bit of a breakdown from the show. Uh, it was great to get away for a uh, for a few days and uh, hang out with like-minded people. The kind of rooftop tent has been just brilliant. hasn't hasn't leaked. It uh, is worked as it should. And uh, there's a little bit of snagging when I get home. I'll uh, a couple of things I'll tidy up. But um, but yeah, all good. Nothing bad. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, say get myself up uh, sort out brew and uh, make a bit of breakfast but um, we'll be um, slowly but surely kind of breaking it down putting it away and getting ready for the off but uh, uh, big thank you to um, my uh, anonymous donor for giving me the ticket to the show didn't have any problems at all getting in with uh, with their name on the ticket and um, uh, big thank you very much and I've um, really enjoyed it so uh, uh, that's um, that's all been good so seize the day let's uh, get up and down and uh, a little bit of breakfast to drop a light bleach and boiling water out the kill. Leave it a stand for five minutes, put it back in the tent.
Wow, okay YouTube, so uh, another bushcraft show, uh, 2014. Uh, Lofty Wiseman was brilliant. Uh, some of the speakers were uh, really interesting. Cody Lundeen was here and that was great. Big thank you to everybody that came up and said uh, hello and managed to uh, kind of find me tucked away. We really didn't get too affected by the mud. We had a peachy little part of the uh, campsite and we've had a lovely time. You know, all you need to do is sort of come on something like this with your head in the right place. And even if it does kind of pour down like it did uh, on occasions, you know, you make the most of uh, what's on the table in front of you. So we've all had a ball, you know, a big thank you to sort of Lone Wolf, Funky Prepper, uh, Pete One Mot, Mind Wiseman, AKA Maverick Outdoors. You know, everybody that came and uh, found me and said hello, I uh, really appreciate it and it's uh, very humbling. But um, as always, any comments, love to hear them. Back soon.